Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny, and if you have been not living under a rock, you are aware of Cyber Shadow, the throwback to the 8 bit era of doing things, and uh, we're gonna check it out. We might even do a full let's play of this boy. We'll see. I'm not going in completely blind as I kind of played the first chapter to get a feel for the game, but I'm starting over here because if I want to actually finish and play lots of games, I have to record them. So this is what we're doing. So we got a little robot boy here. He's going to our chamber. This is us. Our eyes hath opened. Oh, I guess we're, we're in the past here. Whoosh. We've been evaporated. Turned into a cyber ninja, I'm assuming. Ghost in the shell style. Yo. So, I've seen people play this, like, get, like, to the... To the higher parts of the game. They get the double jump, they get the walls, dude, they get the dash. We want all of that stuff. Shadow, it's great to see you with in operational specifications. Sorry to cut your recovery short, but our mission got a lot more urgent. Our master is in desperate need of your help. A lot has happened since the explosion. I'll fill you in on the details as we go. My name is Elgian Legion, by the way. Aid to our master. I'm glad you're finally out. Okay. So we can do the whap whap. We can jump and whap. There's no directional whapping, which is kind of concerning, but hey, it is what it is. You're weakened by essence deprivation. Your vital systems can't hold out for long, Shadow. You're on borrowed time, and to make matters worse, I'm pretty sure your awakening alerted Dr. Progen. We should keep moving. Yes. Interpreting... Oh, interference detected. Connection lost. My sensors are acting up. Go on and let's meet up ahead. Okay. Stasis chamber offline. Okay. Stasis chamber security status compromised. Oh god. Things are getting... Things are getting wild. Stasis chamber log file. Subject beta released. Last recorded status. Health critical. Essence level 37%. Now, I don't know if they're talking about us or someone else, but, uh, we'll see. Whap. The game starts off pretty simple, but, uh, it does get more interesting as we go on. So, chapter one, the geothermal towers. We're going there. We're going up the elevator. We're doing this. All of this stuff. There's gonna be a lot of button mashing here. I'm okay with it. I did get a haircut today of what hair I have left and the damn kid he was uh kept telling everybody I was bald and I'm like bro I will be bald soon enough I am not looking forward to being completely bald so as with most games with this caliper you don't want to touch anything if things touch you you are in a world of pain no matter what it is, I've discovered from these boys to the little, okay. From like little like smoke things coming out of the ground, flyer dudes. Perfectly timed, perfectly executed. Dude, this music is, it's awesome. It's not Katana Zero awesome. Few things in this world are, but it is pretty cool. I do miss Katana Zero. I wish they would make a, uh, a DLC for it. So this guy, I believe, takes exactly five, more than five bits. I don't know what I was thinking there. So one thing that I have discovered in playing this is there is video games, dude. There are secrets. There are walls you can bust open that don't look like they can be. Doctor Progen is holding our clan captive. He's siphoning their power. We barely reached you in time. Good thing we didn't get to you too. One of our four companions is nearby, but finding fading quickly. Please go and meet them. Okay. And I know you have two lines of text, right? Four of our clan are still alive, but they won't be for a long period. Okay, I'm going. You can actually uh, destroy that guy. So one thing that is kind of funky about this game is it kind of decides like, ooh, look at that. 
So that is a power-up that extended the reach of the blade. I don't know if it increased the damage. But it does increase our range, for sure. So we get a little thing on the end there. So... I was playing this the other day, and my son was watching me. And, uh... We recently started messing around with the NES Classic. And he kept telling me, he's like, What's that little switch? And I'm like, what, the switch light? He's like, no, no, the little switch we were playing the other day. And I'm like, bro, that's not a switch. That's a classic NES. And he's like, yeah, that one. He's like, this game looks like it could be on there. And I'm like, yeah, bro, that's kind of the point. But it was kind of a cool moment for him to, like, make that connection. Like, oh, this could be played here on a different uh, older system, you know? Like, he just kind of put it together that it was made for something else. And I'm like, yeah, they could totally put this on the NES Classic. Would it ever get there? No, of course not. Shoot your shot. Okay. He shot a shot, and he got me. I have no idea how long it's going to take to beat this game. Probably not super long, I'm guessing. Maybe like 10 hours would be my guess. But I don't know for certain. But there are some parts in it too that like... It got me fired up, dude. Like you do all this Dark Souls training, right? You learn to, you learn to play the hard games. You learn to find the value in, in doing something difficult. But damn, it is difficult to be in that place, especially when you have uh, limited time, right? Like a lot of people, they can just sit around and keep trying things over and over, but as a dad on a time crunch, like every single freaking day, you kind of need a, uh, you need some results and you need them sooner rather than later. You don't have all the time in the world. Luckily, they put all these checkpoints everywhere, which has been nice. So you're just kind of like, let's make it to the make it to the next checkpoint. So this is our first boss here. We're just gonna chill out, try to not get smacked by this stuff. I'm just gonna smack him in the eyeballs here. And this one, he actually does do a little stomp here. We gotta jump over it, and he's gone. We nailed it, easy. Classic little smack the boss thing there. Ooh, so that gave me an extra life bar. Which I didn't actually notice before the first time I did that. So that was the smasher. See, and this here looks like something that you get to beat up later. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I know that we will have to come back. <gasps> and there you Oh, there's another one right there. We'll have to remember that for later. Fly down here, you little rat. And there is an extra annoying enemy in the game, which you will see very soon. Because with these games, it's all about your initial trajectory and which way you're headed. And if you don't nail it right, then you are screwed. Because you have no directional attacks. Ouch. Do it. Do it, laser man. Quap, quap. Although, these games in the beginning, though, they're always, like, pretty simple. And I kind of like that. It's a nice little introduction to what's coming. Ooh. Another one of those. See, like, this guy flying at you? And those guys respawning is lame. Okay. That happens a lot. Getting smacked by something in the air and it like knocking you off sucks. A big one. You know what I miss about uh Well, I miss the uh I miss the bullet time in Katana Zero. But then I also miss the um We're just gonna get dead there. That's fine. 
What's that other game? Oh, the messenger, dude. I miss the mobility of the messenger. It was so good. The first half of the game. The second half of the game was like, not so great. But that initial first part was awesome. And I think they did release a DLC for that. I don't think I ever actually played it. Oh god. Don't let them flyers get to you, man. Come on. I guess we're just gonna take it slow. And you know what I've been seriously considering? Was a playthrough of Bloodborne. I think the channel is at a spot where I can start, like I've been doing with the Oculus stuff, just sort of branching out. I mean, the Switch is cool, and I really like focusing on the, the niche part of it for a while. But it's been almost three years, dude. I mean, there'll always be Switch games, but I kind of want to play other stuff too, and I want to feel like it's okay that I do so. Right now, I feel kind of obligated to stay in this space, and I kind of don't want to feel that way. Oh my god. Oh, I'm hurting. I am hurting. I need some life. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh no, not you. Not you. There we go, dude. And it's kind of like Celeste. You get to another checkpoint, they're not that far away. Oh, oh I remember this. There's going to be a couple boys flying out here. But that's okay. First time I did this, took a few tries. So you got to deal with these. You can come get a smack over on that guy. Nope. Or you can jump straight into that. See, this is always my fear with playing these games, right? It's like, I'll die like a thousand times, and then I'll just feel like crap because I'm making everybody watch it. And you know, I like to tell myself that some people enjoy watching the struggle, but then I know there is absolutely, okay, we didn't need that to happen. There are absolutely some people that are just like, that's it, I'm out, this guy sucks. Which is whatever. People are allowed to enjoy things however they want. But this guy is just slow and low. Get your two licks in, get out of the way. Eventually he'll die. And it'll all be Gucci. Although it's a lot easier when you have a... Uh, there he goes, dude. Then you can go up here, smack this thing. Oh! Oh, I see. Every time we get one of those, it fills up our little thing. When we get three, we get an extra health thing. Okay, I didn't really put that together before. I am not a smart man. Oh god. Well, that was luck. So was that. Oh no, let's not die here. How are we gonna play this? Alright, we jump here. We jump here, we smack that. We go over here. We, we want this. We're going to back up. We're going in. That was a professional. Although this is tricky because if we don't get up this, then we are kind of up the creek because there's no actual uh, checkpoint here. God damn flying crap. Then they kill you. Now we're back here. But we don't need to go do this again. So one thing that's cool, as soon as you get the power-ups, they're gone. So you did your work. And now you can go about your life. And you know, save, save some starving children. Or do something that makes you feel good. Because you don't have to go through that hell again. That guy right there will get you a ton if you're not careful.
This would be a cool game to like kind of speed run though. All right, man, come back here. So you're gonna shoot your shot, potentially kill me. We're just gonna go grab this because I think it's life. And then we're going back in. So this is the tricky bit. Let me fly our boy, we got him. Okay, we're just gonna hang out on this. Jump up here, there's gonna be another flyer boy. Smacking that one. Much better run than the last time. Come back. There you go. We are dialed in with the blade, dude. Just gonna jump up here, smack him, and we're up. Oh wait, can I open that? I cannot. Who is this? Don't know. I am crying cybernetic tears of pain. What is happening to me? Oh, well, she was there and now she's gone. And now my man is over here with a little health potion. Thank God, because we were almost dead. You don't look so good, Shadow. Your condition is worsening. I hope you'll stabilize soon. We can't afford to lose you now. Our master needs you to be at full strength. Honestly, we all need to have you be at full strength. Yeah, I know. I just got a spam email that says cat spraying. The permanent solution to smelly cat urine. Fuuuuck. Okay. Yeah, I too suffer from smelly cat urine. Not shadow, as weak as ever. How did you even manage to survive without your powers? You'll f okay. I d I don't have any powers. God, I gotta remember how to fight this guy. Okay, so he does this, and he does this. Oh. You gotta wait a second to jump. Oh man, there's no way we, we're gonna die here. Maybe I should just reset. Yeah, if you time that like final jump there, you'll be good. So now he's shooting a shot. Jumping over that one, jumping over that one. He's gonna do a big one. We're gonna jump now, get over it. He's coming back. Gonna give him the business. Now he's gonna do this. Uh, I think he does like four of these now. So one, two, three. It was three of them. Three of them. But now we know the strat. Luckily, I had kind of did this one a little bit before. We can get in some free ass hits right there, dude. Nailed it do it. Now he's probably back in phase two, right? One, two. Jumping early. Jumping early to get in there. Now he's gonna throw a lot of these. We're just gonna tip, tip, tippy toe. Tippy toe, dude. And we jump early. He's bouncing in. Coming in to get his reckoning. We're just gonna tip, doop, 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 doop. Now you're gonna shoot three now. One, two, three. Big jump. And he's gone. The apparator. A win without honor, hardly a victory. I don't know what our master saw in you, but it couldn't have been a spine. Oh, he's my friend. Even the trainees of our clan have had, had enough guts to avoid backstabbing. Next time I'll tear you to pieces and offer your essence to Dr. Progen myself. Looks like we're being betrayed. Just casual betrayal. Our clan has been captured. I'm too far gone, but there might be hope for the others. Maybe my power can help, even if it's not much. Feed me your essence. What did I get? Oh, we got our little shuriken. 
So now if you hold up and you push attack, you throw this thing, which is kind of tricky because you're moving up a lot, if, especially if you're using the analog or the uh, the stick to run around. So you'll jump, be at the top of it, and then accidentally shoot that, and that kind of sucks. Oh, so this... that was chapter one. Well, I think that's a good place to stop. We'll start chapter two uh, in the next one. So um, thanks for hanging out. I think I'm going to continue this one. I kind of want to. Right now, we don't really have any ongoing stuff. I mean, the, like, there's the Oculus stuff, but, like, Switch stuff. And I think this is a good, a good thing to... A good game to keep playing. It's been a while since I've played, like, a platformer like this. I can't even remember the last one. And, uh... We're gonna do it, dude. So, be good to each other. And I will see you guys back here for kicking off Chapter 2. Take care.